What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we have even more news about the uncovered jailbreak for iOS 13.0 all the way up to iOS 13.3 on A12 and A13 devices as well as the older devices. Now this is basically going to be a continuation of the previous video from yesterday so if you haven't watched this video yet go ahead and check it out in the description down below. This one explains more about the progress and what we have for the moment. Now after I made that video yesterday Pound Own posted a couple more things. At first Quote, I got a substitution support package mostly working on A13. There are a few more things to do, but it's almost done. Hashtag uncover. Now, why is this important? Because the substitution support package basically is the thing behind the tweaks. If you want tweaks on your jailbreak, you need a substrate or substitute or substitution support or whatever you want to call it. You need something to hook your tweaks into the processes so that the tweaks work fine. Otherwise, your tweaks would not load. But after that, he posted, quote, I'm currently working on fixing yet another issue issue in substitution support which seems to be affecting system-wide injection on iOS 13. Hashtag uncover. Now this is again very important because this means that there will be delays when it comes to releasing this jailbreak because there are issues that have to be fixed so it's not like some of you speculated in the comment section and on Twitter we're not going to get this in a couple of days. There is a lot of work in the background on getting this to work fine and of course on testing it and the most important component is left to be fixed and that is the tweaks. Uncover is completely useless unless you have tweaks because nobody wants to install a jailbreak that cannot run any tweaks whatsoever and if you want to have tweaks you need substrate or substitute in here and apparently currently pound own is trying to fix an issue that is affecting the injection of tweaks into the processes on iOS 13. Of course he will keep us updated here on Twitter as well and I will keep you updated on the channel for those of you who don't use Twitter or who want all the information in a single place in a video but for the moment that's what the substitution support means. It means the tweaks basically the component behind the jailbreak which enables the tweaks to run. Imagine the tweaks like little pieces that attach to processes. For example if you want to change the battery icon or if you want to change the way the icons look on your springboard or any tweak that you install from Cydia. It has to hook in the right process that does the initial thing in the first place. So for the icons for example you have to hook into the springboard, you have to hook into the process that generates the uh, icons and the list of applications and stuff like that and of course change the icon mask and other things. So injecting your own code which is basically the tweak into an already existing iOS process is how the tweaks work and without proper injection and a substrate or a substitute this can not work. So for the moment we're waiting for the uncover to be finished but of course it will still take time. This is not something that will happen overnight. Pound to own is working his tail off on this jailbreak and he's definitely willing to release it as fast as possible but only after it works properly and only after it's been tested a lot so that they ensure they don't break your device. So that's why it takes a while. There are things that were unexpected on iOS 13 and that's normal because we didn't have a TFP0 kernel exploit a couple days ago so we wouldn't have known what has to be fixed beforehand. So now that we have a TFP0 kernel exploit the jailbreak can be updated but as I said it takes time because issues like this which are unexpected expected delay the jailbreak development process but of course I'm going to keep you updated here on the channel and on the jailbreak central forum that you can go ahead and sign in to with the latest progress. Meanwhile I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and save your blobs with TSS Saver for the still signed iOS 13.3 once it gets unsigned you will not be able to save the blobs anymore and this is actually very important because using the blobs you would be able to basically update to 13.3 in the future, downgrade to it in the future or restore to it even after it's no longer signed. So this is actually very important. While you're waiting for the jailbreak save your blobs. As I said I will be available here on the jailbreak central forum at jailbreak.fc365.info and you can ask me questions about jailbreaks or you can see the news, the latest releases and you can even get support. So yeah, thank you for watching that's basically it till the next time i'm geosnow subscribe to stay updated and peace out